Hey everybody, welcome back to Grumpy Acres. Well, this is the second part of our garden tour, our spring 2023 garden tour. Just so you guys can see what's happening. I broke it up into a smaller bite-sized videos so it's easier to watch, it didn't take as much time. So go ahead, if you haven't seen the original, the first part, part one, I'm gonna put it right up here in the corner. I think it's this corner. I hope it's this corner. If it's not, it's this corner here. Anyway, so, go watch that first video. Come back and watch this video. And then I will see you. Yeah, this over the last couple of weeks, I've pulled 15 yards. I pulled about 15 yards of compost out of that, that panel. I'm trying to get it back down, getting ready to get another hay bale. Wanted to get it cleaned out. But I pulled about 15 yards of, of compost. It's about So that's that's how you do it. And the the reason why I put the mulch on top of it or the compost on top is number one is it decomposes. All that good nutrient stuff is going to release into the soil, but also it's going to act like a blanket and it's going to keep the moisture in the ground when it starts getting hot. And then we're going to walk over here. There's just so much going on. It's springtime, you know, and there's so much, so much going on here that it's, it's so cool because when we got this place, it was, it wasn't dead, but it was on, it was barely on life support, seriously. And, and now that we're taking care of it, it's just, it's coming back to life and it's so exciting. So this is the blackberry patch. And you can see I got I got a tree right there. That one is an apple tree. And this one over here, that tree right there, those are the ones that we planted last year. That one looks dead, but there's actually down in the bottom, there's actually actually some growth. So I didn't want to I didn't want to cut it out. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a chance to, to last year in this blackberry patch, we had one plant, one single plant out of this entire area that produced fruit. I think we got like five blackberries. But this year look at this so see these white ones all those little white flowers all those little white blossoms you can see them all throughout the patch now there's not as many as there should be but there's more than there were last year all those blossoms are where fruit's going to come in so we're going to we're going to get blackberries this year and i'm going to go in and i'll i'll weed eat and mulch you can see i started mulching i started using grass clippings right here so I'll, I'll weed eat and I'll mulch all this area. And hopefully, hopefully, no, no, hopefully, it will it will do well. We'll get this patch back like it's supposed to be and get it a vibrant, productive blackberry patch. And then we're over by the trees, the apple trees. And as you can see, they're doing well. They're nice and healthy. See, they got they got fruit on them. Need to be trimmed up a little bit, but but all three of the apple trees have fruit on them, and it's doing they're they're doing great. Oh, and that that raised bed back there, I think we're gonna plant. We're just gonna go down to the uh, to the gr uh, greenhouse, or not the greenhouse, the the nursery, and just get some some tomato plants, get some stuff that's already sprouted, so we don't have to worry about it. Then come over here. We've got some more. Uh, more tires that we're going to do. We're going to turn this entire patch right here uh, into a, a pumpkin patch and, and squash patch. And so, you know, this fall it will be really, really nice. I'm talking. You know, something else that we're doing this year to get, get food. You know, the driveway asparagus, I, I kind of look at that like it's foraging, seriously. Because it's not, not where it's supposed to be and... You know, we're we're just we're we're getting stuff where we can. So we're we're going around and we're finding all kinds of edible stuff on the property. You know, look at that look at that thistle right there. That thistle, we're letting it go because that's going to be medicinal for us. This is what's going on over by the house. All right. So remember that I showed you that vertical bed. Well, we lost four of the six tomato plants during that freeze. But look at this comfrey. Isn't that comfrey awesome? Look at that. That that one's already started booming out. And this one's doing great. Angela's going to come in and cut some of this back. But we managed to save two of the tomato plants. And they're starting to grow up that trellis. And then we come over here. There's the, the strawberry circle. And we're actually getting strawberries off of it already. In fact, go check this out. They're not very big. Everything's kind of rough. But look at that. There's a, there's a little strawberry right there. But then we got some basil and we got another tomato plant that survived this one's doing really well i'm going to train it to go all across that that wire right there then we got some beans and and got some dill right there got some i think that's curly dock i just kind of let it go 
And you know, for some reason I can't get that weed out of there for some reason i can't get any herbs to grow in there but i'll keep working on it let's go over to the herb garden and check it out so angela split a bunch of aloe vera last night we're gonna see if we can't get it going and then we got some got some orchids those are those are those are left over from the from the other owners the previous owners but look at these raised beds. Look at that. That mint. We're gonna get a uh, we're gonna get a, an oil machine and, and start extracting oils, and that's gonna be our first one. But that's coming in good. The unfortunately the eucalyptus didn't survive. We left it in there hoping it might come back, but it, we're gonna have to figure out what to do about that. And then over here, there's some there's a lot of wild stuff in here. We're kind of I, I guess Angela's using it as an experimental bed, and then there's there's more herbs in there. Some clover in here. I'm not sure. Some lavender. I'm, I'm not sure what this stuff is. But we'll have to check it out. And the rose bushes are coming back. I got a couple over there I need to pull out. And then finally, I'm going to come over here to Gizmo's Garden. This is the one I, I built this thing last fall. And we started putting stuff in it this spring. I need to get out here and I need to weed it. I need to do my garden 30 in it. But I transplanted that poor strawberry. That poor strawberry plant's not doing well. But those two are doing really well. In fact, I pulled a I pulled a strawberry off of that one yesterday and gave it a try. And then we got some mullein that, that Jonathan brought over to us. Uh, there's some curly dock in there. I'm not sure what this stuff is. I got to. I got to say that this one right here is a, a horseradish that I transplanted from the old from the garden. And then there's just I like I said I need to get in here and I need to weed out some of the bad stuff. But there you go. That's a that's an update on the on the, the the different path our garden is taking. And and the main garden, like I said, we'll spend some time out here this next couple of weeks. And get it ready to go in and we'll see if we can't get stuff in before uh before it gets too hot and it gets too late in the season you know oh the green stock too her green stock's doing really well she got we did some container gardening here there's some echinacea that we got that i need to get into gizmo's garden you know things don't always pan out the way we, we planned it and in fact that's the reason why the the main garden looks the way it does right now it's because we just we haven't had time and, and have been able to do stuff with it because we've been so busy doing other things but you know we'll get it done get everything back on track make it more permanent make the changes permanent that's why that you know go ahead and comment down below let me know what you think if you got any of that that bleating you hear is the bottle baby but let us know what you think and if you got any suggestions we're, we're open to them share your experiences with us hit that thumbs up like i said before go ahead and subscribe uh, most importantly i need you to go live a life done free today thanks milo